What do you think the largest source of household debt is in the United States? Uh, 20. Credit cards. It's actually student loan debt. So oh, education is key to the future, and we must look at ways reforms to ensure that it is affordable. One of the ways we can reduce student loan debt is to eliminate the cost of textbooks. Let's see how bad this issue is. Student loan debt is a critical issue in the United States and is growing rapidly. The Federal Reserve Bank of, the, of New York found that student loan debt has tripled from $435 billion in the first quarter of 2006 to $1.31 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2016. They also found that student loan debt is greater than that of auto loans and credit cards. A current contributor to this debt is the rising cost of textbooks. According to NBC News, the average cost of textbooks has risen four times faster than the rate of inflation over the last 10 years. Another study by the College Board Survey of Colleges found that the average cost to a U.S. undergraduate student in 2017 for textbooks and materials was estimated to be $1,250. Some students have forgotten the purchase of textbooks because of their cost. As you can see, student debt is reaching a crisis level and the cost of textbooks are a contributing factor. Due to the internet, we now have some solutions to leverage the collective knowledge to, re to educate the world. The financial burden on students can start to be reduced by making textbooks free to students at state universities. The high Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board reported that appropriations for higher education was 20.5 billion dollars for the fiscal year of 2018 to 2019. Public funds are being used to help these universities and they should adopt new methods to help the public that helps fund them. State universities should be required to adopt open source textbooks versus expensive commercial options. Open source textbooks provide permanent access at a very low cost or in some cases can be free. A study by Hilton found that students using open source textbooks perform just as well, if not better, than those using commercial material. Since state universities are funded by the people, they should be looking at methods like open source textbooks uh, to help the people that help them. Reducing costs of higher education has benefits for the entire nation. With the transition to open textbooks, the cost of higher education can be reduced by $1,250 per year. Due to lower costs, students can take more classes. The price of textbooks will also not deter students from purchasing them. Open textbooks will also provide access to knowledge over your lifetime. These textbooks will be, also can be made available to everyone. And open textbooks are maintained by the commons. The use of open textbooks has the ability to change the way that we educate people. I hope today I have provided you with some new facts about textbooks which you may not have been aware of before. I have presented many issues regarding the rising cost of textbooks and how open source textbooks can help solve the issue. Um, it's a necessary step that we need to take in order to reduce the risk of student loan debt. The next time you're taking a college course and you're going into the bookstore and you're purchasing a book for $150, just think about how things would be different if that book was free. Oh, thank you.